Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Eddie Hearn is finding a way to keep making that cha-ching-ching, Wu-Tang, Kareem. Cash rules everything around on Eddie Hearn over there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, as a result, uh, he's looking to keep working uh, with fighters coming out of the Olympics, a lot of Eastern Europeans, and also he's looking to, 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 to work with uh, Iman Khalif and possibly sign her. Now, she won a gold medal, and but a lot of fans are a little bit disappointed in Eddie Hearn, and they are saying that Eddie Hearn should not sign Iman Khalif until people get a bit more, uh, you know, clarity on the, the, the gender of this individual. Now, let me just say this, right? Like, we really shouldn't even be here right now. And what I mean is, why are we at, at a point where you have an athlete who goes on to win a gold medal and we're still sitting here <clears throat> having conversations about whether the athlete is a male or a female. The athlete, <clears throat> my understanding now, is not transgender. But they're still trying to figure out whether the athlete was born as a male <clears throat> or born as a female. Now, this is, this is, for me, it's frustrating because I understand, look, I'm just going to, look, I, I, I'm Aphrodite, right? <clears throat> this is where, for me, it gets murky. I am no genealogist, no biologist, nothing like that. But from my understanding, if you're, you're, you're born a male, XY chromosome, the Y chromosome is supposed to activate those pathways uh, for the genitalia to develop, and often it doesn't. And then you have a, 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 a male, a child who is born to be a male, but the genitalia doesn't develop, right? But in this case, right, you keep hearing that she was born a female, right, XX chromosomes, but just produce high levels of testosterone. This is where it gets quirky. Because in my opinion, <clears throat> why hasn't this been resolved why wasn't it resolved before they even allowed her to compete in the Olympics? Why wasn't it sorted out? You know what I'm saying? I, and, and at the same time, right, somebody dropped the ball because I understand when, you cut, when it comes to these very sensitive uh, issues, uh, a lot of people would just rather kind of like, hey, I'll hand this off to you. You'll deal with it because people don't want those problems, especially in today's climate. Right, so I I understand that, but I also believe that we need to confront the tough issues head on, um, and that makes people uncomfortable. And sometimes we need to get uncomfortable so that we can have a healthy dialogue and that we can make some kind of progress um, when when it comes to, to to putting everyone in a better space. And in particular, when we're talking about Iman Khalif, I think that all the key decision makers involved with sport, Olympics, professional fighting, amateur, everything, with sport as a whole, when it comes to boxing, uh, anyone who's had dealings with her, I think that they should have stopped, drew the line in the sand then, and sorted things out. Because if the issue is that, okay, she's born a woman, all right, we're all adults here, she got a vagina, she got breasts, right, if that's the case, right, she's a woman, right, born that way, everything developed, that's what she got there. She just looking a little Paul Bunyan-ish because she has she naturally produces high levels of testosterone. You know, maybe she got a little bit of um, Berta B inventor because he's another one, right? D -d -d uh, produces certain high levels of testosterone, right? But if she produces that shit, well, then that's where 
I think it's kind of unfair that she's born a female. She's no kidding a woman. Can have children, everything. Just because she produces high levels of, uh, levels of testosterone, you're going to say that she can't box? That's that, I don't agree with that shit. That, I don't agree with that. Okay? I think that's wrong. Now, it, it, are the levels so high and abnormal to the point to where she comes in there and she's she's like, you know, astronomically strong and she has this astronomical mind-blowing power that gives her an unfair advantage. Well, then, you know, that's maybe something they need to, they need to take a look at. But I'm pretty sure the family knew a long time ago that she produced high levels of testosterone. I'm sure there's probably a, a lot of hair growing everywhere and shit, you know what I'm saying, on her face and her armpits everywhere. I'm sure she probably got a little hair on her back. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just saying I'm sure she grows probably very hairy. So what are some of the treatments, if her family can even afford it, what were some treatments they were doing when she was a young girl through her teenage years? Did they not do any? They just accepted this is how God <clears throat> This is the child God gave me. This is, and he doesn't make mistakes. And we're going to accept her and just appreciate love her the way she is. But the fact that she's in sport just want a gold medal. And now these questions about, is it an XX chromosome? Is it an XY? Uh, is she a transgender? Is she not a transgender? Uh, how high are the levels of testosterone? Why didn't they allow her to, to participate in um, those games before the Olympics? Like, what's the deal with her and then the other chick out of China? I just think when you, when you take a look at that, like for Eddie Hearn, you know, he Eddie Hearn goes strike with Ironside. He's not going to miss an opportunity, especially now, to come and pick up um, Iman Khalif, especially as she picked up that gold medal. And everyone's talking about her right now. I just think for Eddie Hearn, if he's going to sign her, which he's a smart man, he, he's going to want to, to have some more answers and, and make sure that he has that conversation and talks to the, do the doctors and, and, and make sure that, this athlete he's signing is no kidding. A woman, born a woman, right? Has everything a woman has. The lights, camera, and ready for action. And and I think only then he'll 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 uh, uh, be cool with going forward and putting pen to paper. But there there are fans out there already saying this is horrible. We're gonna ban we're gonna boycott matrimony. Screw you, Eddie Hearn. How dare you sign a, 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 a transgender? And people don't even know what the hell they're talking about. But I, I do think it's, it's interesting. This, shit is, this is more interesting than an Australian breakdancer. You know what I'm saying? Did y'all see the Australian breakdancer? Talk about taking it to the stupid. But anyway, Iman Khalif's a talented fighter. Uh, to go win a gold medal is not easy. Um, she's always fought... Uh, and, and women's boxing as an amateur, she's lost to females as an amateur. So, I, I don't, I don't know what we're what we're talking about here, to be honest with you. But nonetheless, I'm sure Eddie Hearn. That's one thing about him; he's gonna make sure that um, all T's are crossed, I's are dotted, and that he's doing the right thing for boxing and for Iman Khalif. And believe you me, once Eddie Hearn gets on the case. And they're able to, to unearth um, the truth about her and her being born as a female and what her story is. Eddie Hearn's going to come out, especially if he signs her. And, and you know he's a mouthpiece. And he's going to defend her tooth and nail, which is what I think she needs. Um, and I think the fans need that too. Because right now, it's like she has this dark cloud hovering over her head as a result of her winning the gold medal. Because a lot of people feel that, you know, hey, she came in the ring. And, you know, you got somebody with a pack of balls on them. You know, you got a, a male in there. So she come in there with stones and shit. You know what I'm saying? And I'd just be, be glad to get someone to clear that up because I think it's unfair to her. That shit, the way everyone converged on it. That's why I said, well, hold up. Let's let's wait and let's get all the facts. Everybody just want to come out here, man, you know, and attack the athlete. Now a lot of people are recanting their statements and feeling bad because they're like, oh, it really is a woman. But there's, 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 something, there's something more there. If there wasn't something more there, we wouldn't be talking about it. And I'm not saying there's something more there like she's packing the wood and balls. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is there's something more there really about the chromosomes and the testosterone and 
That's what I think they're trying to sort out because I just watched two guys debate over this. Neither one knew what the F they were talking about. Neither one. You know why? Because they don't have access to her medical records or nothing. They were just talking about hermaphrodites and what they've heard. They ain't doing nothing having a conversation like her champion. But I think they really need to have some medical experts or someone come out on behalf of her and, and, and clear that up. And it's unfortunate that you got to go that far down in the weeds. But I just think she needs that, man, because I can only imagine, man, that the, what struggle she faced now that the whole world is kind of looking at her as someone who had an unfair advantage and won a gold medal when really that gold medal was earned based off of her efforts and hard work. Anyway, man, y'all keep cool. Eddie Hearn's looking to sign her. But um, some fans are like, hey, if you're going to do that, at least clear things up. But um, more to come. Y'all keep cool. Shout out to the veteran, all seven continent. You're in the breeze.